Right. So, um, do you have children, if I may ask that, Arti? Kids? I'm not married. Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so if I may ask, are you not getting married because of these uh, issues? Because that you... No, you definitely think... not. Mm -hmm. Definitely okay. not. No, that's such a... Um, no, it's not something that uh, should be bothering me. No, I'm not getting married because I'm not ready. What about you? Why are you not getting married yet? Hello. Hi. How are you doing today, Arti? I'm doing great. What about you? That is great. Yeah, I'm all right. Thank you. It was a busy day for me. What about you? Was it a busy day? Mm, no, it wasn't. All right. So, uh, Arti, I think this is our first interaction. Yeah, this is our first session together. No? No, it's our second session together. I had a session with you before two months. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I don't remember. I am so sorry for that. So um, no let me check it out. This is, this is your 27th session with Clapping Go, yeah? Yeah. That's great. How has it been so far? Mm, so far, so good. Uh, I've okay. met many trainers, many tutors. Mm -hmm. And uh, the best part is that I get to learn different things from each tutor. For example, sometimes yeah. they uh, also tell me new expressions, that what new expressions I can use while speaking to make it more impressive. Yeah, so um, according to every tutor, I don't make grammatical mistakes. Uh, my level is upper intermediate, and sometimes they also call me advanced English speaker. But mm -hmm. somewhere, I mean, to adorn my language. So I have been, I mean, suggested many things. So mm -hmm. that is what I appreciate. All right, that's great. Do you have anything else that you want to discuss? Any topic that you have in you your mind? You can suggest to me anything. I don't have any topic. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about what's happening right now about Ukraine and Russia then. Is it good? Oh, no. Then what else do you want to talk about? Mm, global warming? Please no? don't be brave, then, concerned. Then, please then, let then you have to. Away. You have to choose. I have really boring topics. Let's talk about work life. You're working. You're a working lady, yeah? Well, how do you manage your work life, your personal life, taking care of your family and all that? Mm, yeah, by giving equal uh, importance to everything and mm -hmm. not mixing them. For example, if I have to mm -hmm. concentrate on my work. Mm -hmm. So at that time, I'm totally into, I'm totally indulged into my work. And whenever right. I'm at home, so um, I do not let my work responsibilities come in the way of my like household responsibilities. So I never mm -hmm. bring those uh, office staff at home. So that you just leave it there. Match. I leave it there. Okay. So, well, during the pandemic, you might have had to work from home. Is it? Yes, I had to. So, how did you manage that then? By locking myself in a room. <laughs> so that nobody can just disturb me. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, if you just get once disturbed, I mean, while mm. doing your work. So, uh the whole mentality so that's something yeah. you get disturbed and you can't just regain you cannot redeem yourself you can yeah. but it's uh somewhere it's an arduous task well that's so true and then again you know at the back of your mind you'll be always worried about okay what's happening outside the room okay someone's calling or something's happening so you'll always have that yeah so yeah that's yeah. that you also feel lethargic somewhere because you are at home. Nobody is uh, like, um, you know, there to mentor you. Nobody is there to check on mm. you that what are you doing mm. and, you know, so you can right. do whatever you want. Even if you just log I, in and then you do your household chores. I mean, it happens. Every uh, employee yeah. will, I mean, they would agree on it. All right. So um, now you're working from office, is it, Arti? Yes. You went back to your office and you're liking it more? You're all right now? Yes, I'm liking it. I mean, I always wanted to because um, mm -hmm. I uh, am a person, I'm a kind of a person who 
like wants to interact with new people on daily basis although at work place mm-hmm. you don't get to meet new places new uh, person people. new people on daily basis but mm-hmm. still i mean it's a change okay so that is what i look forward to always right so um, do you have children if i may ask that arti i'm not married for the Oh, all right sorry <laughs> sorry for that so i hear dogs at the background there yeah? i mean you got dogs yeah uh, these are just stray dogs sometimes stray we dogs, call them at our home and we feed them so yeah so you are not burdened with the family responsibility yet so yeah i, I want to ask like you know if you were married how do you manage that and you know the work life how do you think you will manage in the future if you are planning to get married do you think that will be a burden I I see nowadays i haven't given it a thought yet that how would i manage i mean it's the future mm-hmm. task uh, in future yeah i know that uh, i know many ladies who are married and who are mm-hmm. managing their responsibilities of household responsibilities and their work responsibilities very in a very you can say gracious manner but uh, yes uh, I mean it's really a task. So yes, I see that even I'm not married yet. So I see that you know these working ladies and they have their family, children and they're working. So I most of the times I see that the grandmothers and the grandpa I mean the grandfathers are taking care of the kids and so you're actually burdening them as well by sending them to your grandparents. I think the the age where you have to relax ax and just you know take a chill pill and then again you have to take care of these little humans and that's a bit too stressful and that's kind of a trend i can see in my neighborhood what do you think about that um yes indeed it is uh, somewhere a stressful situation for grandparents but if i talk about indian people's mentality indian typical grandparents yeah, mentality yeah, yeah, yeah. so they love to have their grandchildren so no i don't yeah. think that they would have any problem in future uh, every grandparent yeah. in this uh, india they want grandkids mm-hmm. so bad so yeah, for that's... them they they get something to uh, you know spend their time with they don't want to feel lonely uh, at their age mm-hmm. also it mm-hmm. varies from person to person i mean yeah. some people have different inclination perspective mm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. perspectives inclination some want that to is true. Uh, travel the world after their retirement and some mm-hmm. just want to be mm-hmm. at home be at peace and uh, spend time with their family mhm oh that's so true according to me in my perspective i think at the end of the day it is still a burden i personally think so so when i think about that and when i am thinking about my future I don't know I wouldn't want to burden them although I would like them to interact with the kids I would really not you know drop them off and then pick the kids up in the evening that kind of an ordeal that is Okay so if I may ask are you not getting married because of these uh, issues because that you No you definitely think- not no definitely okay. not no that's such a um, no it's not something that uh, should be bothering me no I'm not getting married because I'm not ready what about you why are you not getting married yet Okay um <laughs> I'm not at age yet I feel I'm just mm-hmm. 26 so there is a, like you are also 26 yes yes I'm also 26. so we are not at marriage yeah I think uh, like age yet I think we're not ready yet uh, we're not ready we yet are. so yeah, definitely uh, I think it's better to take your time and be ready and think about all the responsibility responsibilities and all that that's going to come up. Yeah, I don't want to jump into it and then later on regret it and be like oh no this is too much. I want to be prepared exactly. mentally <laughs> to go through all that. Yeah. Mm. What exactly, do you think about exactly. this marriage in in our country? Don't you think it's more like a business nowadays? Mm, no comments. You don't have any comments on that. yeah right. i mean i don't think i mean it again it varies from person to person there are some people who marry for love there are some people who just marry for yes they make marriage um, a business thing but it varies mm-hmm. well 
I definitely think it is more like a business. It's not because of uh, people wanting to get married or love marriage. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think people are choosing to get married and all these extravagant functions and they will have to hire photographers, they'll have to um, arrange everything and that is the business part I'm talking about and that is getting even worse. So I think people are inclined to do more and more and more. Uh, it, but, you know, if they want to, they can try and choose a simpler wedding but no, people are wanting to be that kind of an extravagant uh, kind of an audience. Yeah, that is Yes, that big fat wedding. Just, yeah. yeah, it's complete mm. business, I think. Yeah, that is a business. That can be called a business, definitely. I mean, you have to show up a lot. Uh, even if you don't want mm. to, if, even if you are not ready, even if your family is not ready, but due to just peer pressure, due to the pressure that you have in the society. So you have to mm. show, you have to, I mean, you can't uh, like make it a low-key marriage. You can't have a low-key marriage in this era and uh, but there are some people who just settle for mm -hmm. those uh, low-key marriages that they just go Simpler. for that um, simple marriages mm -hmm. I think that that's the best mm -hmm. decision that is better and I think we have evolved as human beings and we should try and um, adopt the, that kind of uh, benefits of evolution into our lifestyle as well rather you than what? setting the bad example today's generation like people who are at our age so they mm -hmm. have this mentality they definitely accord with this they don't want to spend their uh, hard-earned money on this marriage just to please others just to um, oh, yeah. like just provide a feast to those people who are coming to congratulate you i mean if they really feel um, they really want to bless you they just bless you they don't want to eat so that feast that you provide it, provide them. I mean, it should be a low-key. Um, rest, again, it varies from person to yeah, person. Yeah, it really varies. And I hope it changes.